Hello, my lovely Leos. How are y'all doing? Welcome to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. Welcome back to anyone who's returning. And to my tribe, what is up, my tribe? Well, lovely Leos, first of all, happy, happy birthday to those of you that had a birthday in July. Happy belated birthday, if your birthday has passed. And for all of you who are having birthdays in August, or if you have, happy belated or happy birthday to you. Um, so what I do plan to do, for right now we're doing your love reading, but I do plan to get out a bonus read because it's your season. Um, you're the first one to get this. I didn't do this last month, and I'm a cancer, okay? <laughs> so I didn't do it last month. But I'm going to do a bonus read for you um, just because, because it's your season. So for every season, next month will be Virgos and so on. Also, I'm going to be doing, I just did a cusp read for um, Cancer Leo. So now I'm going to be doing Leo Virgo. So if, if you're a Leo Virgo cusper, look for that, okay? So if you're not part of the tribe, do subscribe and join the tribe and hit the bell icon button because um, then you'll be notified when those come up. All right, but I just want to let you know ahead that you will be having a bonus reading coming up. I don't know when, but hopefully soon. Um, I'm planning on this week sometime, if not maybe this weekend, possibly. So you know, keep an eye out for it. Um, this is a general read, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, this is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, by the way. So if it doesn't resonate, you may want to check the other placements of your chart. And even if it does resonate, many times you can get more information from the other placements of your chart. All right, Leo, let's do one more shuffle. One more, one more. All right, let's get some information here. What's going on in your love situations, all right? But do keep an eye out for that bonus read and that cusp read, all right? I have Cancer Cusp of Leo, so I consider myself very much a Leo. I also have uh, a Leo Venus and Leo Mercury, so I have a lot of Leo in my chart. I have an Aries Moon, so I have a lot of fire, uh, even though I'm a Cancer, July 21st or so. Uh, anyways, let's see what we got going for you. Eight of Cups, walking away from something. Yep, seven cups have sunk. It's time to walk away. This to me is the bye-bye Felicia card. Well, let's see what's going on. Maybe you've walked away from something, but you're walking towards something else. Something that's really walking towards the light. The love, the light of your life. Ooh, I just read the light of your life. Interesting. Justice card. Uh, could be dealing with the Libra and Page of Wands, Fire Signs. This could be you, Leo, or this could be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or another Leo. Um, you know, being true to yourself is what I just heard. You've come to a point in your life, Leo, where you're balancing your thoughts and your heart, and you know exactly what you want. You've been reflecting on things, you've been thinking about things, and you've decided that you want to be single. This is not necessarily a single card, but that is what I'm hearing. You're in your own bubble, dancing the beat of your own drum, and just doing your own thing. Starting on a new adventure, I also heard, too. This is a new beginning. Pages are all about beginnings. It's a new, a freshness, and it's about following your passions, following your true passion. Again, finding the light of your life. There's the Page of Swords. Interesting. And the Fool. Well, this is nice. The Page of Swords. A new way of thinking. Brand new way of thinking. Um, trying to get down again to the truth. It all, it's all about your truth, Leo. Truly who you are. Truly what you want. And the person who is going to be true to you. Truly your person. And maybe you've met that person. Maybe you haven't. Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You do have the Libra card here. Very possible. Could be a Libra. Doesn't have to be, though. But you're ready to take that leap of faith. You're ready to let go of that twig, whatever it is, and just whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? Just letting, trusting the universe and trusting that you're walking away from this and whatever happens from here on out is whatever happens. So this could be some challenges and obstacles or just things you may need to work on. Five of Cups. Okay. Coupled with Temperance, Sagittarius card, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, you're going to have to work on, you kind of have a, dis, uh, you have a view of love, you're disappointed with love in general. You're disappointed with the way things have gone for you and your love situations. And you're a little apathetic about the whole thought of love right now. Okay? So you may need to work through that a little bit. So even if you have met people, you're like... Yeah, that person's nice, and I guess I could go out with them, but I don't know, you know? I really don't know right now. And the Sagittarius is just, that's okay. Just be patient with yourself. You may be a little out of balance, because you have the, the Justice card here with the scales. So you're trying to find a good balance between what your heart wants and what your mind wants, trying to find being in alignment with yourself. 
I guess that's finding your truth. All right. Eight of Wands. Communication. Talking with somebody. Four of Cups. But there's that apathy again. This is being a little bit... You said it's apathetic. It can be... Things have been going a little stale for you. A winky dinkies. Wow. Okay. We're going to start clarifying before I run out of time here. You do have the Seven of Wands. So you're kind of staying in your own little world right now. You're fine in your own little world. Putting up barriers saying, you know what? When the time comes and I'm ready to take that leap of faith, it's all up to me. You know, I may meet people. They may be interested. They may be trying to get me to go out. But it's going to be my decision and my decision only. So your decision, your decision only. Being true to yourself. And you want to make sure whomever you get in involved with or, or possibly get involved with, you want to make sure that this is your person, the right person. So you may be communicating with people, though. This is about fast movement, so maybe things are going a little too fast with the person or, or whatever, and you're just like, mm, I want things to be a little bit slower. Two swords on the bottom there, making some sort of decision. Oh, that card came right out there. You are happy being on your own right now. You're content to be on your own, Leo. Um, this is clarifying the justice and the page of wands. The nine of cups is very much um, a wish fulfillment card, though. So in your heart, you do want to find your true love. The light of your life. Oh, there's the lovers. Could be a Gemini. Making a decision. Getting in touch with your feelings. Your feminine side there. Could be a twin flame. That, that, that lover's card is a twin flame cat. Page of Swords and the Fool. Let's see what we have for the Page of Swords and the Fool. Okay, <laughs> there's two lumps of cards that just came out. And as much as I'd love to go into depth with these readings, my phone does not allow... Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I shuffled those. Could very well be a gem. It could be your twin flame. Wow. A new way of thinking. So this is getting in touch with the feminine side. With this full card, you could very well be making a choice and taking a leap of faith with somebody. You're a little iffy about it right now, but you're leaning towards. Knight of Wands, Fast and the Furious. This could start rolling, Leo. This could start, you know, the spark's there, and it's all of a sudden. Things may roll along faster than you expected, and you could have an inferno here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have for the Five of Cups and the Temperance. What advice does Spirit have for you working through that kind of stuff? Six of Pentacles. All right. Make sure that whomever you get involved with, it's a give and take. You know, make sure you're not doing all the giving and they're doing all the taking. This is going to be an even. Someone, like I said, the scales. An even relationship. Ten of Swords. That's the end of the hurt. You've been hurt by someone in the past that you walked away from. Eight of Wands. Walk away from love. Maybe just walk away from the whole thought of love. Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups. Interesting energy here. Because you have the Five and the Four. But you know, the Six of Cups is right after the Five and the Four. Mm -hmm. And that is the Twin Flame card too. So, you know, let me just... Let's see what comes out here. Queen of Pentacles, baby. There's your feminine energy here. Queen of Pentacles is very grounded, knowing what, okay, now she, these, if I refer to the cards as he or she, it's only to do with masculine and feminine energies, not your physical gender. It doesn't matter if you're male or female watching this. Um, the, um, we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. We usually resonate with one more than the other. However, though, we do have both of them in us. So this may be calling you, Leo, to tap into your feminine side, regardless, again, what your gender is. And really think about what it is you want and focus on that. Focus on that. What kind of love do you really want in your life? What kind of person suits you best? Uh, and be grounded. You know, don't get to put your head up too, your standards up too high, too up in the air. You know, creating this, this, I don't know, fairy tale romance thing that, that's not quite realistic. But at the same time, you still want to have a little bit of that passion and fun in there that you can have with the person. But the Queen of Pentacles is very patient waiting. She's had a lot of experience. I always call a king the been there done that. Well the queen is too. She's the king is a little bit more logical. The queen, although she has emotions and empathy, will base her decisions on logic because she doesn't want to fuck it, anything up. She doesn't want to mess with anybody. Ace of Swords. You just you want your true love. The one your 
The one and only true love. That's what you want. Want. The one and only true love. And with that light, the light of your life right here, you're walking away from something, opening up a portal or space. So, ooh, we're almost out of time. Uh, open up that portal of space so you can find new love. Mm -hmm. All right, see, we're almost done. So thank you all for tuning in. If you did like this reading and or it resonates, I hope it helped. If it, if it did resonate, I hope this helps. If it did resonate and, or, and, or you like this or both, please do give me a thumbs up and comment. I would love to hear from you. Do subscribe, join the tribe, hit the bell icon button so you'll be notified. I do a number of different readings so you can be notified when they come up. Join me on Instagram. I'll be going live on there and Facebook. Uh, follow me on both of those forums. And uh, I hope you will join me again. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. Keep in mind, Leo. Finding your truth. Finding your true love. Finding your true love. That's what you're in search for. Finding your true love. All right, Leos. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all. Peace out.